this Sunday, they'll be celebrating Black History Month with a special art and wellness winter bazaar. And so this morning, I want to introduce you to writer, producer, and creator Winston Shaw. We have him here. He's joining us with uh, Oya Art G uh, Gallery Art Director. We have Kim Phillips P right over here. I mean, she's hard at work. Listen, this is not easy to do, but she's got her easel out. She's doing her artwork. Uh, Kim, you're going to be painting live during this event, right? What are you working on? Yes, Christina, hi. Um, <laughs> this is my piece that I'm working on for Black History Month. This is a multimedia um, where we have the canvas and then I've also added hair onto the art wow. to celebrate the tradition of black braiding, black hair, and just um, everything that has to do with decorating ourselves. I love this. Yes. And so what else can we expect if we go to the event? Well, so you expect, uh, you can expect a little everything. As you see, we have our canvases here. We've got some sculpture. We'll have poetry as we have Winston with the haiku. We'll have live artists painting like me uh, and also live music. So Ooh. yeah, lots to choose from. I mean, I love it because obviously we're talking about art. We're talking about Black History Month, but it's kind of like a party. <laughs> if you think about it, it's a, there's a lot to celebrate. Winston, you are a special guest at the Bazaar. You recently put out an ebook, which we have here. We also have video uh, because you've got this haiku, right? That was right. that was inspired by the pandemic, during the pandemic? Yes, during the pandemic. Um, um, I would say one of my biggest inspirations was actually um, a woman who I think is at the vanguard of Afrofuturism. Her name is Dr. Lawana Richmond. Mm -hmm. um, and I attended a conference that mm -hmm. uh, I heard about um, during an interview on NPR and I ended up um, just falling in love with the concept of Afrofuturism because it, it allows us to reimagine ourselves in positive ways mm -hmm. and project who we are into the future uh -huh. based upon our past, but you know, really just positive representation and um, sort of taking control of, of, the, of the narrative, okay. so to speak. And so are you excited? For I'm the super Sunday? excited, yeah. I'm super excited. So the book came out of the pandemic, um, you know, we were all, looking for things to do. I'm Absolutely. sure you were too. Yes. And uh, a friend of mine who's a, a great engineer, um, music engineer, put together the audio for it. So we have it in audio um, and video book. Mm -hmm. It's a, sort of a new form of ebook available on Google Play and um, on Apple Books. And uh, so uh, Mike Jers from Highly Educated Music, he mm -hmm. put together all of the audio and um, you know, it's a, really a collaborative project. It's great. Absolutely. I love this. Kim, what is the goal for this event? Um, so the overall goal is just to bring artists together with the community so if you're an art lover it's a place to go um, if you're a creator it's also a place to go because you get both elements in one um, we opened the gallery because we needed a space to display our art to play live music to introduce mm -hmm. new artists to the concept of displaying their work and then first-time sales experiences mm -hmm. so it's everything under the Sun when it comes to the life of an artist obviously you guys have an event that's happening this Sunday but you put on an event is it is it once a month every every third Sunday of the month? Yes, so okay. it's every third Sunday. It's our winter bazaar. In summer, it's our summer bazaar. Sure. But this was created by V Brooks. She's the new president of Southeast Art Team, and it stems from an event that she used to go to 20 years ago in the Southeast oh, community that wow. brought artists together. So once we got our space, she recreated the event, and here we are. Okay, and then the, lastly, there's a GoFundMe San Diego Every Drop of Paint Tour. What is that? That's right. So in addition to having our gallery space, the beautiful Oya Art Gallery and Boutique, we have turned the city into an outdoor gallery. Wow. We walk, we bike, we drive, um, everything you can think of to highlight and showcase our artists. Perfect. So you're obviously raising money for that. That's Wonderful. Right. So here's the thing. I want to get the information up on the screen. Let's get that up. Obviously, this is a ha this is the Art and Wellness Bazaar, winter, right, bazaar. Uh, it's celebrating Black History Month. That's happening this Sunday, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. This is at the Oya Art Gallery and Boutique in Logan Heights at the McDuff Elks Lodge. Yes, okay. 17 McDuff Elks Lodge, 6 Hensley Street. There the entrance go. to the gallery is on commercial up the piano stairs. Well, she, listen, yes. You'll she see is it. on it. I mean, I, it. I have the information about, please go ahead. Yes. I love that, Kim. Yes. Thank you so much for You're being welcome. here and sharing the story with us. Thank and thank you, you so much us. for being here. All right, so we'll see you on Sunday.